In this video, I'm going to be showing you an amazing card trick where the spectators find the four aces all by themselves. And of course, this is not what it looks like. The real performance is what you're about to see right now. As you can see, I have a fairly mixed deck of playing cards and I'm going to refill down the side of the deck. The spectators are going to call out stop and that way I'm going to divide this deck of cards into four more or less equal pack of cards. Now all the four spectators can have all of these packs and all they have to do is follow my instructions. So at first they're going to take one card from the top and put it onto the table. Then they are going to take few cards from the top and put it onto the bottom of the deck. And then they're going to take one or more cards from the top and put it onto the card that they have put on the table. And then again, few more cards onto the bottom of the deck. That way they're actually shuffling the cards and when they are done, they're going to get rid of few cards from the top of the deck. But make sure that they have a handful of cards in their hand. And with the cards that are left in their hand, they're going to take one by one deal them and just count exactly how many cards there are so if there's a coincidence some could have same number of cards or mostly we get different number of cards now at this point me being the magician all i have to do is just snap my finger and then find out all the four aces from the top of their exact same packs that they have shuffled now that is the trick and here is how you're gonna do it. This is actually a self-walking trick and for this all you need to do is a little bit of sleight of hand for arranging the cards. Now at first you're gonna start off this uh, trick with the four aces on the top of the deck and the aces will be face down, not face up. I'll just leave them face up for your reference and at this point all you have to do is basically take a break under the top three aces and do a double undercut card control which will take the three aces to the bottom leaving just one ace at the top of the deck now at this point you have to just riffle down a little bit and wait for the spectator to say stop and just whenever they say stop you just cut the cards from there and that's the first pack of playing cards now for the second card you're going to riffle down just a single card from the bottom and then you're going to do a swing cut maintaining the break and then a swivel cut just to get that single ace from the bottom to the top leaving the other two aces onto the bottom and then again you're going to do the same thing just making it into an another pack of cards now for the third card you're going to do it exactly as the second one and for the fourth card you're just going to be left with only one pack of playing cards and for that the card will be on the bottom of the pack all you have to do is just shuffle it with the overhand shuffle and just bring out the bottom card at last so at this point all these packs are going to have four aces on top of them now for the spectator all these aces will be phased down so they will never know about it but that's how you're going to divide it and from here it's pretty much self-working now you're going to ask the spectator to take the top card and put it onto the table and then take next few cards and put it onto the bottom of the pack and then again take one or more cards and put it onto the tabletop and then again take few cards and put it onto the bottom of the deck and that's how you ask them to continue and tell them that they're actually shuffling the pack but in reality the ace actually goes to the bottom of the pack now at this point when they're done shuffling you just ask them to take the cards back in their hand and from the top they can get rid of any amount of cards they want they are just going to deal those cards out so basically they're going to deal cards from the top they can even deal multiple cards at a time it really doesn't matter because the ace is onto the bottom so for that reason you also need to ask them to keep a handful of cards for themselves and when they have finally dealt out all the cards that they want to get rid of then with the cards that they have in their hand you're going to ask them to deal out one at a time and carefully count them and that is the most important part and that actually sets the ace back to the top of the pack and this happens with each and every one of these packs and that way each and every one of the spectator ends up with the ace on the top and all you have to do is just snap your finger and turn over all the four cards or just ask them to turn the four cards all by themselves and they will be shocked to see that they have not just found the four of a kind but they have also found the four aces and the best part is since this is a self-working trick it also does not require any duplicate playing cards and that's how you can actually fool anyone also a magician if you want so that's how you're going to do this trick so that's how you're going to do this trick and i hope you enjoyed this video now if you're new here then make sure you subscribe because that's what helps me make amazing videos like this one and one more time thanks for watching peace